Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we are going to quickly explain the difference between Microsoft 365 Business and Microsoft 365 Personal. So in particular, we're talking about things like Microsoft 365 Standard, Microsoft 365 E3, E5s, and the retail side of things, which is Microsoft Personal and Microsoft Family. And to get directly to the point, there are four main things that the Office 365, Microsoft 365, personal and family don't have. The first thing, and the most important thing for most people is that you cannot use a custom domain. So if you have a domain like ours, you are T E C H C A. If you want to receive email on a custom domain, like Johnny at U R T E C H C A. Yeah, it's not going to work. The personal Microsoft 365 suites only allow for outlook.com email. Nothing wrong with that, but if you're trying to run a company, probably not what you want. You probably need to go to the corporate. Microsoft 365 Business, Microsoft 365 Business Basic, Microsoft 365 Enterprise 3 or Enterprise 5, something like that. So just a quick uh, sidebar here, and if you're getting confused by this part, just ignore it. But what my friend did was he had two of the people in his uh, family of, of five that needed custom email. They needed to use their corporate email domain not outlook.com. So how did he get around it? Well, he went out and he bought an additional Microsoft suite, which was Microsoft 365 Business Basic. And all that is, is email. That's what it gets you. But it lets you use a custom domain. And because he could use the custom domain, he was on his way. The second thing that you don't get on the personal side is the ability to expand your storage past one terabyte per person. And you might say, well, that's no big deal because you can't expand it on the business side either. Yes, you can. On the business side, you start with one terabyte of space. You can expand it up to five terabytes by yourself and past five terabytes, you have to ask Microsoft and they will expand it for you all at no cost. Now, for most people, one terabyte is a vast amount of space, so it's not an issue. But again, if you have more than the one terabyte, you're going to need to use a corporate Microsoft 365 account. The third thing that Microsoft 365 personal and family do not have is the ability to share files in a single SharePoint data store. You have to use your OneDrive if you want to share files. Again, for most people, doesn't make any difference. But if you're a company and you're looking for that single replacement for your file server, yeah, it's not gonna work on the personal side. You need to use the corporate side. And the last thing, and this is something we're going to demonstrate, is how to administrate your Office 365, now called Microsoft 365. In the corporate side, if you're an administrator, you can select admin, and you can administrate your tenant. You can add other administrators. You can get into other people's data. You can add and re remove licenses. You can migrate files from one system to another. You can create teams. Compare that to Microsoft 365 Family or Microsoft 365 Personal. You can see when you sign in, there is no option for administrate on the, or admin, admin on the left uh, rail. It's just not there. So how do you administer the account? Well, you really can't. Like we said, you can't see other people's data. All you can do is add and remove them. And the way you do that is to click on your name, and then select my profile and that will take you here where you can add and remove family members now to be clear there are a few more differences that we'll go over extremely fast here but you probably just don't care about them the first thing is microsoft 365 family has a maximum of six seats six users whereas the business accounts let you get up to up to 300 seats now you have to pay for each one of those so that gets expensive and enterprise allows millions of, a, of seats in the corporate side there are also some additional apps like things that let you have people book their own times with you so it's sort of an access to a special calendar there are some additional apps that are really nice uh, that companies will like but most individuals won't care about and then the last really notable thing here is that there's some additional security options that are possible in other words things you can pay for in the corporate side, things like smart links. If you have a corporate account, a business account, Microsoft 365 Business or Enterprise, you can add on smart links. And what that does is check 
every single inbound email link for malware and other problems. And finally, yes, you can migrate from Office 365 family or now Microsoft 365 family to Microsoft 365 business. And you can even migrate all the way up to Microsoft 365 enterprise. So if you start with one package, you don't lose all of your data or need to go through some giant reconfiguration when you step up to the next package. And that's it. If you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. it helps with the Google algorithms. You can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because it's YouTube and everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.